What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where the MG7 debuts in stylish form in China following the series revealing teasers from Saic Motors. Well, they have finally introduced a new MG7, the stylish fastback that is positioned at the top of the MG range in China, coming with the turbocharged gas engines. Now, it is also the first member of the Black Label series that is focused on the upmarket styling and sportiness. Now, the MG7 is a spiritual successor of the first gen model from 2007 to 2013, which was an updated version of the Rover 75, 1998 through 2005. Now, the new generation has nothing to do with the predecessor since MG designers opted more for aerodynamics with a five door body style instead of a traditional four door sedan. Now, with that said, overall the model looks quite aggressive thanks to its muscular body. The front wheel drive platform is evident from the proportions, but the low slung silhouette, the sleek coupe styling, the roof line, and the frameless windows with the large alloy wheels and sculpted body panels contribute to the upmarket look. Now, the front end is characterized by sharp LED headlights and the large stylized openings on the front bumper flanked by sporty intakes, similar to the MG Cyberster concept. Now, the rear end is probably the most attractive part of the MG7, thanks to the pronounced rear fenders, the full width LED tail lamps, and the heavy inclined rear windscreen with the integrated ducktail spoiler and aquatic exhaust pipes. There is also an attractive rear wing with a three-stage deployment similar to the Porsche Panamera. Now, in terms of footprint, the MG7 measures 4,884 millimeters, 192.3 inches long, 1,889 millimeters, 74.4 inches wide, and 1,447 millimeters, 57 inches tall. For a good measure, this positions it right between the Audi A5 Sportback and the A7 Sportback. Now, inside the five-seater cabin, you can find a typical freestanding digital cockpit that measures 33 inches and integrates the instrument cluster and infotainment touchscreen. Now, the dashboard looks quite modern yet unoriginal. The ambient lighting and fancy textures place it closer to the premium segment, and other features will include high-mounted center tunnel, the panoramic roof, and the sporty seats with integrated headrest. Now at launch, the MG7 is available with different ice power versions with a plug-in hybrid option rumored to follow next year. Now the entry level 300 VTGI is fitted with a turbocharged 1.5 liter engine producing 183 horsepower, 136 kilowatts, 185 PS and 300 newton meters of torque and power is sent to the front axle through a 7 speed DCT automatic gearbox. Now those who want more performance should opt for the pictured 405 VTGI Trophy coming with a turbocharged 2 liter engine that produces 254 horsepower, 189 kilowatts, 257 PS, and 405 newton meters of torque. Now, the more potent motor is exclusively mounted to a 9 speed ZF automatic gearbox also sending power to the front axle. Now, the vehicle is also equipped with an electronic limited slip differential and an electronically controlled suspension. Now, it's not clear if MG plans on exporting the MG7 to other markets, but chances are its ICE-only versions will remain in China, since Europe and North America are mainly focused on electrifications. So, the model will be locally produced, and prices should be announced closer to market launch, which is expected by the end of the year. But with that said, what do you guys think about this stylish but sporty MG7 in China? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a big like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on the new MG7. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel and enjoy what I do here, make sure you take the links down in the description below. We'll have a one-time link donations for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love and support, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, where you can get t-shirts, tank tops, stickers, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. See everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and with that said you guys be blessed have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next ron's rise news video peace